Right, thanks everyone for joining us again for another uh, West Kerno Sounds podcast interview. This time I'm with uh, Tinley. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm all right. Thank you very much. Yeah. So you're based in uh, Canada, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, outside of London, Ontario, just in a small little town. Okay, lovely, lovely. Would you want to start off by telling the, the viewers a little bit about how you got into music in the first place? Yeah, so I, growing up as a little girl, my my family's always been into music. My dad's always been a singer. My brother plays guitar and he loves to sing as well. Um, my mom enjoys it as well, not as much as my other, my other, my my dad, and my brother, but we've all we've all loved music growing up. So I kind of just got it from my dad, I would say. I played sports growing up, hockey and stuff. And on the way to my games, we would be singing in the vehicle all the time and um it's always been his dream to actually have a music career as well he's in a band now um so he's he's kind of taken that off himself and he's he's loving it uh so I've just kind of followed in his, his footsteps I guess and just the love for music and the family brilliant absolutely brilliant so um explain a bit about your music now uh you know how you, you said to me earlier you've got a guitarist with you is it yeah, so my guitarist player, his or his name is Dwayne Myers. Um, so right now we're working on a few songs. Um, we're going to be releasing uh, a few covers coming up. Uh, the Bones is one of them, as well as 26 Cents. Uh, we currently do have out a song, You Can Let Go. Um, so that's on YouTube right now. Um, we also have a Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube page. So I'll, we'll be posting all of our music along um, those pages. Right. Fantastic. So have you been together for a little while now or is it this is a new project? This is new. Yeah. So we just started out recently. Um, unfortunately, yeah, COVID has kind of put a little bit of a, a damper on that. So it's kind of slowed down the process. Um, so I was practicing on my own. And then um, now, now I do have Dwayne. So we're trying to meet up as much as possible, as much as we'll be allowed to. So Right. Right. So how, how did COVID affect you then musically? Yeah, so um, just it, it was hard starting out just with not being able to see anybody. It's hard to get a guitar player and hard to get out there in the world and make yourself known when you're stuck at home in lockdown with COVID. Um, so right now I've just I've set up a at home studio and I've just been practicing uh, on my own at home. And now that things are starting to open up, uh, we're hoping that we can get out there and start doing um, some gigs. We have a few actually coming up. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, unfortunately, it was a little bit of a slow start, but we're, we're pushing through it. Are you are you the main songwriter then? Um, so I don't actually, I'm not a songwriter right now at the moment. Um, we are looking for an original to record. Um, but no, I, I haven't wrote, wrote any songs myself yet. Okay, so is that is that a plan for you in the future? You, you want to get into the songwriting side of things? I would like to, yeah, yeah. So I do actually have um, a writing session coming up where I'm going to try and express what I would like to do musically, and we'll see where it goes from there. And hopefully, I mm. am going to be able to write my own song. <laughs> okay. Brilliant, brilliant. What about the the idea in the future of having instead of being a duo, but having a, a large band? Is that something you can see happening? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would like to. Yeah, so right now we're just starting out small. We'll get some gigs out there, and then hopefully uh, down in the future we'll we'll expand and get bigger. Brilliant, fantastic. So just run us through again what you've got out there at the moment and where people can sort of find it. Yeah, so right now um, under Tinley Farrow, I have a Facebook page, Instagram page, as well as YouTube. Um, so I do have one cover out there right now. It's You Can Let Go. Um, so that's currently on my pages. Uh, right now we are working on The Bones as well as 26 Cents. And then those will be released uh, once those are done too. So that will be uh, shortly, we'll be releasing those. And then we'll be working on um, a cover as well. Okay, so your, you mentioned your dad uh, being in a band. Is, is yeah. Is your is your music uh, a similar vein or is it completely different? Um. So my dad loves country as well. I'm obviously a country singer, um, but he also likes rock and stuff too. So he's kind of a little bit of everything. Um, mm. His band's actually named the Carltons, uh, and they're just around the London area as well. But yeah, my my dad loves all sorts of music, so his is a little bit more broader than mine. 
Fantastic, fantastic. So um, what would you say the, uh, I mean, obviously coming from quite a musical family, what, what would you say the best bit of musical advice you, you, you know, you've been given? Just follow your dreams. I, I, I never imagined myself to be where I am today and, and doing an interview with you. Um, I've always just kind of sang at home and then my friends and family would say, you need to get out there. You need to do, mm -hmm. do something with your voice. You've got talent. So here I am now and, and I'm going to go with it. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So who, musically, who are your influences? Um, so definitely my dad, uh, my brother. I kind of, it's mostly just family, to be honest. I don't really follow uh, many people. It's more, it's, it's more my family and just like what's in my heart that I, I, try, I try and follow okay. that. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Very good. Um, so is there any sort of musicians that you admire? Um, just uh, my myself. I love all country singers like Taylor Swift and the, the kind of along that way. Um, mm. But mm. there's nobody in particular that I would say that I actually follow. I try and do my own thing and and I'm just trying to be myself and who I am rather than following somebody else's footsteps. Right, right. You mentioned you've got a few gigs coming up. Um, can you offhand, do you know where they are and dates? Yeah, so um, I can mention one of them because it is, uh, it's set in stone and I do have a date for that. So on November 13th, uh, I'll be playing at Old East 765. So I will be opening for a band uh, called Black River Remedy. So that was uh, that's one that I will will post some more information on our social social media pages once we know more about that. And then there's a few in the making as well, but I can't say anything yet just because okay. there isn't a, a certain date yet. OK, brilliant. So over in Canada now, things are starting to ease off a bit for the lockdown, is it sort of? Yeah, actually, today, today okay. was the day that everything was opening back up. Wow. So I'm hoping that will be good news for myself, um, just because, yeah, a few gigs have been shut down just because of COVID restrictions. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully that's good news for me and hopefully I can start getting myself out there some more. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so what do you what do you enjoy most then about being a, a singer? Uh, you know, what's what's the thing for you? For me, it's all it's all about emotion. When I sing, I like to, to feel the emotion of a song. Um, I love to sing songs that I can relate to personally, and uh, it, it's all about emotion for me. Lovely. Yeah, lovely. So you, you're you obviously, you'd say that uh, country singing is is where you're at then. That's that's what you like. Yeah, so country, um, we do sway over a little bit to the pop end as well, um, but mostly country, yeah. Brilliant. Lovely. Okay, so um, out of all the all the tunes that you've possibly know or that are in your head there, um, what what's your favourite one to sing? <laughs> My favourite song to sing currently um, would be "Lost Without You." Uh, it's kind of a ballad. It's it's very heartfelt song, and there's a ton of emotion to it. And I just I love the way it sounds with my voice and right. yeah brilliant brilliant does it take you long then to you know memorize a song and, and get it out there surprisingly I thought it would um I I thought I would have a hard time memorizing the words mm. and get songs out there but um I'm actually that the words actually are, are sticking with me a lot more so as long as it's a song that I enjoy to sing and yeah I, I don't usually have too much trouble uh, memorizing it fantastic brilliant okay well this is the uh last question and everybody gets this question um is there anybody you would like to thank for you being here now musically i would love to thank uh step music for finding me and bringing me this far um and i'd also like to thank my entire family as well for putting the love of music into me and um being there to support me through my journey of uh, music <laughs> Brilliant. Tinley, look, thank you so much for giving me the interview and, and good luck with everything. Thank you very much. It was nice meeting you. All right. Hopefully we'll talk again down the line. All right. <laughs> Perfect. I would like that. All right. Take care. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye.